Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. It's nice to see you today. But before we start our discussion for you today, I would like to ask first Mr. Rod to lead us in a prayer. Come on, let us pray and feel the presence of God, our Father, which art in heaven. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the life and the blessing that you have given to us. May you always guide us and provide our daily needs. We ask for your provision and guidance and may you bless each and every one of us. This is we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Sobremonte. I would like to ask, God is good. All, All the time. time. All the time. God is good. Once again, good morning, class. Good, good morning, morning, sir. Okay, so before you take your seats, kindly pick up the pieces of trash and arrange your chairs properly. Kindly go back to your proper seat and I will be checking your attendance. Very good. It is good to know that all of you are present today. Before we start our next lesson for today, let us have a short review of what we have discussed yesterday. What is the topic that we discussed yesterday? Sir. Yes, Mr. Uh, Riyama. We discussed about the passive and active voices of the verb. Very good. How can you define active voice of the verb? Sir, if the subject in the sentence is also the doer of the action, then it is active voice. That is absolutely right. Now, who can give an example of a sentence in active voice? Yes, Mr. Juan. Brian took the fish. Very good. Okay. Okay, class. Did you enjoy the activity? Yes, yes we, we did. did. Okay, that's good to hear. But before that, I have some few questions. What parts of his speech do the word quickly, backwards, and always belong? Sir. Yes. Those words are adverb. Absolutely. How about the words long, big, and tall? Sir. Yes. Those words are all adjectives. Very good. So, from uh, the given uh, lesson, what do you think is our topic for today? Sir. Yes. I think our topic for today is all about adjective and adverb. Very well said. But before we proceed, let us read our objectives for today. Please read the three objectives for today. Identify, Identify the difference of adjective and adverb. adverb. The second one. Use appropriate modifiers. And the third one, be sensitive in using words to describe things and people. Okay, thank you. Now that you know the objectives for today's lesson, let us work together to achieve our objectives successfully. Okay? Okay, okay sir. sir. Okay. Today, we are going to discuss adjective and adverb. Everybody say adjective. Adjectives. Adverbs. Adverbs. Okay, let us have first the adjective and its definition. Somebody read? Sir. Okay. Adjective are words that modify noun or pronoun. This answer the question which one, what kind, how much, or how many. Okay, look at these examples. Everybody read. They live in a beautiful, beautiful house. Second sentence. This, this bag is for you. you. Third. Just, just a little, little juice is left in the jug. Fourth one. Vincent bought five apples for Shane. Okay. Let us analyze the sentences. What is the adjective in the first sentence? Sir. Yes. The adjective used, used in the first sentence is the word beautiful. That's correct. Wait. What part of his speech is the word they? Sir, the word they is a pronoun. How about the word house? The word house is a noun. If an adjective modifies noun and pronoun, which one between they and house does the adjective beautiful modify? What question does this adjective answer? Sir, okay. The adjective beautiful modifies the noun house because it answered the question, what kind of house do they live in? Very well said. Let's clap our hands for him. Okay, it answered the question, what kind of house? And now, who can give a sentence using an adjective that answers the question, what kind? Sure. Okay. The dog, the big dog scares me. Okay, wonderful. 
What is the adjective used there? And what word does it modify? Sir. Okay. The adjective in the sentence is the word big and it modifies the word dog. Very good. On the second sentence, let me read it. This bug is for you. What is the adjective, adjective here used? Sir. Okay. The word this is the adjective. If the word bug is a noun and the word you is a pronoun, which one does the adjective this modifies? Sir. Yes. The adjective this modifies the noun bad because it answers the question which bug belongs to someone else. Correct. It answers the question which bug belongs to someone else. Who can give an example of a sentence using adjective that answers the question which one? Sir. Okay. That car is out there. What is the adjective used there and what word does it modify? Sir. Okay. The word that is the adjective and it modifies the word car. Bravo! For number three, here it is. Just a little juice left in the jug. For number three, what is the adjective used? Sir. Okay. The word little is the adjective there. What word does it modify? Sir, it modifies the word you. How can you say so? Sir, because it answers the question how much how much juice was left in the jug. Very good. It describes how much juice was left in the jug. Now, who can give an example of a sentence using adjective that answers the question how much? Sir. Okay. There are many people that are starving because of poverty. Amazing. What is the adjective there? What word does it modify? Sir, the adjective in the sentence is the word many and it modifies the word people. In the last sentence, what is the adjective used? Here it is. Vincent bought five apples for Shane. Sir, okay. The word five is the adjective in the sentence. What word does it modify? Is it the noun apple or the pronoun you? It modifies the word apple because it answered the question, how many apples does Alan buy? That's right. Now, who can give an example of a sentence using adjective that answers the question, how many? There are four houses painted white. What is the adjective in your sentence and what word does it modify? Sir, the word for is the adjective in the sentence and it modifies the word houses. Okay, very good. Do you understand now the adjectives? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, let's give a round of applause for each one of us. Okay, class, how can you observe with the position of the adjectives? Sir. Yes? It always follows the word it modifies. That's amazing observation. Gretchen, kindly stand up. Class, look at her. How are you going to describe Gretchen? Sir, she is beautiful. She's beautiful, good. Another? Sir. Yes. She is tall. Yeah, she's tall. Another? She's long hair. Yeah, she has long hair. So class, that's a wonderful observation. Gretchen, you can take down your seat now. Are you happy on how they describe you? Yes, sir. That's good to hear. As you can see, you made her happy with the simple words that you use to describe her. I have a question. Is it right when we are describing someone using words that may degrade or discriminate them? No, sir. Of course. Very good. We must be sensitive with the feelings of others. Is there any questions about adjective? No, no sir. Okay, very good. Let us move on with the adverb. Can somebody read? Sir. Okay. Adverb of words that modifies verb. Adjective in an another adverb. It answers the question how, how often, when, and where. Thank you very much. Class, look at these examples. Everybody read number one. Read Rico walks, walks slowly. Number two. Late. He, he never, never eats junk, junk food. Three. Laura looked back some in history yesterday. yesterday. Number four. The concrete jump over the window. So we are going to analyze the adverbs based from the sentences given. Okay, let us analyze it. What is the adverb in the first sentence? 
Sir. Okay. The word slowly is the adverb in the sentence. Perfect. What word does it modify? Sir. Yes. It modifies the verb walk. Awesome. What question that is uh, that does it answer? Sir, it answers the question how does Rika walks. Precisely. Now, who can give an example of a sentence using adverb that answers the question how? Everybody, please read the given examples. Number one, Rika walked slowly, so she came late. Number two, he never eats junk food. Three, Lorna took the exam in history yesterday. And last one, the culprit jumped over the window. Okay, or the culprit jumped over the window. Let us now analyze the given sentences. What is the object in the first sentence? Rika walked slowly, so she came late. Sir. Okay. The word slowly is the adverb in the sentence. Perfect. What word does it modify? Sir. Okay. It modifies the verb walk. Awesome. What question does it answer? Sir. Yes? It answers the question how does Rika walk? Precisely. Now we can give you an example of a sentence using adverb that answers the questions how. Sir. Okay. Some people talk fast. Very good. What is the adverb there and what word does it modify? Sir. Okay. The word fast is the adverb in the sentence. It modifies the verb to talk. That's right. How about in number two? He never eats junk food. What is the adjective used here? Sir. Okay. The word never the adverb in the sentence. Okay, the adverb. Correct. And what word does it modify? Sir. Okay. It modifies the verb it. Correct again. What question that it, that it answers? Sir. Okay. It answers the question how often the it's job food. Absolutely. Now who can give me a sentence using adverb that answers the question how often? Sir, okay. my family visits my grandmother weekly. Very good. What is the adverb there and what word does it modify? Mr. Goroske. Sir, the adverb in the sentence is the word weekly. It modifies the word visits. Perfect. For number three, Lorna took the exam in history yesterday. What is the adverb used? Sir, okay. The word yesterday is the adverb in the sentence. Correct. What word does it modify? Sir, it modifies the verb took. Okay. Very well said. What question does it answer? Sir, okay. It answers the question when did Lorna took the exam? Amazing. Now we can give an example of a sentence using adverb that answers the question when. Sir, Okay. The guests are arriving tomorrow. Very good. What is the adverb there and what word does it modify? Sir, the adverb in the sentence is the word tomorrow. It modifies the verb arriving. Absolutely. Okay. In the last sentence, the culprit jumped over the window. What word or what is the adverb here and what does it modify? Sir, okay. the word over is the adverb in the sentence. What does it modify and what does it uh, answer the question? It modifies the word jump and it answers the question, where did the culprit jump? Bravo! Who can give an example of a sentence using adverb that answers the question where? Sir, okay. Sal speak dumb space. Wonderful! What is the adverb there and what word does it modify? Sir, the adverb in the sentence is the word downstairs and it modifies the verb stay. Perfect. Did you understand all about the adverb? Yes, we did. What can you observe with the position of adverbs in the sentence? Somebody? Sir. Okay. The adverbs can be found anywhere in the sentence. Very good. Is there any other questions about the adverb? No, no sir. sir. Okay, that's good to hear. Okay, now, if you really understand the lesson, 
What are the differences between the adjectives and the adverbs? Sir. Yes. The difference between adjective and adverb is the adjective modifies noun or pronoun, while adverb modifies verb, adjective, or another adverb. Excellent. So what else? Sir. Yes. Adjectives can be found only before the word is modified, while adverbs can be found anywhere in the sentence. Okay, that's very good. As a student, what do you think is the importance of learning the adverb and the adjective? Sir. Yes. As a, as a student, the importance of learning the adjective and adverb is that it, it helps us to improve our grammar and we will not be confused in using in the sentence. And finally, we may have a wonderful sentence with a meaningful thought. That's right. Let's give him a round of applause. How about as an individual? What is the importance of learning the adjectives and the adverbs? Sir. Yes. As an individual, it is important to learn adjective because we will be able to know the right choice of the words when describing someone so that we will not hurt anyone's feelings. That is absolutely right. Did you understand our lessons for today? Yes, yes. sir. Any questions or clarifications? No, no sir. Okay, that's good to hear. Now we will have an activity. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. Yeah, if you, you feel surprised, okay? So this activity will be called Make It and Do It. You will be divided into three groups and each group will be given 15 minutes to create their own song, poem, or a drama. Group 1 will compose a song, group 2 will create a poem, and group 3 will create a role play that shows different words or, uh, that emphasize about adverbs and adjectives and there are uh, certain adjectives and adverbs in there. Be creative and knowledgeable in making your task. I know, I really know that you can do it. Did you get me? Yes, yes sir. sir. You have 15 minutes to finish the task. Do you understand? Yes, yes we do. Okay, let's have the grouping by, counter, by counting one, two, three. Let's start counting from... Okay, please count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, again, I will repeat. Now you are in your own respective groups. Group 1 will create a song, a song, a piece of song. Group 2 will create their own poem or poem. And group 3 will create a role play or a drama wherein there are certain adverbs and adjectives accompanied in every presentation. Your 15 minutes starts now. Okay class, I want you to have a big clap for each group right after their presentation. Group 1, 2, and 3, kindly present your work. Pause. Well done, everyone, for your wonderful presentations. And now I'm going to announce your scores. Group 1, get 93%. Let's give them a round of applause. Group 2 get 94%. Let's give them a round of applause. And group 3 got 90%. Let's give them also a round of applause. Okay? I know that you do your very best for uh, creating such a wonderful uh, presentation in just 15 minutes. You may come back or go back to your proper seats now. Okay? For our evaluation, I want you to get one for a sheet of paper and write it, write down your name, section, and date today. You will be given 10 seconds to answer each number. We will check it right after your answer. The students who will be caught cheating will automatically get zero. Am I clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, let us start. The direction is that you're just going to choose the answer to complete each sentence, identify if it is an adverb or an adjective. Every number uh, are two points or two points. Write only the answer. Did you get me? Yes, sir. Okay. Number one. The cat is 
Heidi, blank the couch. Two. I will repeat. The cat is hiding blank the couch. A. On. B. Under him. C. Somewhere. D. There. I give you 10 seconds. Hands up. Exchange papers with your seatmates. What is the answer? Sir. Yes. The answer is B. Under. Okay. The word underneath. Meaning the cat is hiding underneath the table. Number two. Get ready. The president sat in a blank chair. I will repeat. The president sat in a blank chair. Is it letter A? Important. B. Barbers. C. Funny. And letter D. Leather. A. Important. B. Barbers. C. Funny. Or D. Leather. Your 10 seconds starts now. No cheating, please. Hands up. Exchange paper. What is the answer? Sir. Yes. It's letter D. Adjective. Yeah, okay. So, when we are when we are going to complete the sentence, the president sat in a leather chair. And leather is a kind of adjective. Number three. After the party, confetti was strewn blank. I will repeat the sentence. After the party, confetti was thrown blank. A. Blandly. B. Everywhere. C. Later. D. Carefully. I will repeat the choices. A. Blandly. B. Everywhere. C. Later. Or letter D. Carefully. Ten seconds. Starts. Hands up. Exchange papers. What is the answer? Sir. Yes. The answer is B. Under. Okay. So we are going to complete the sentence. After the party, confetti was thrown, and the word everywhere is. An adverb. Number four. She was walking blank. I will repeat. She was walking blank. A. Financially. Letter B. Exactly. Letter C. Rapidly. Or letter D. Now. I will repeat the choices. <laughs> A. Financially. B. Exactly. C. Rapidly. Or letter D. Now, 10 seconds again. Pens up. Exchange papers. What is the answer? <coughs> Sir. Okay. The answer is letter C, rapidly. Okay, good. That is an average word and the word is Rapidly. Let us complete the sentence. She was walking rapidly. Very good. Next. Last. Number five. I received blank awards at the ceremony today. I will repeat. I received blank awards at the ceremony today. Is it letter A? The managers. B. Two. C. Information about. Or letter D. Motivation at the. I will repeat. A. The managers. B. 2. C. Information about. Or letter D. Motivation at the. 10 seconds starts now.
Hands up. Exchange papers. What is the answer? Sir. Yes. The answer is B. I get B. Yeah. Let us complete the sentence. I received two awards at the ceremony today. And the word to indicates that it is an adjective. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, please count the number of the correct answer. And now pass the papers forward. Please give it to Miss, Miss Resha. Just collect, just collect it there. Thank you. Okay. You are all smiley and very happy. What does it indicate? Who got five? Wow, almost everybody got five scores. Four. It's okay. Three. There is one. Two, one. No more. Oh, well, that's great. It seems that you really understood the lesson. Let's give a round of applause for each one of us. I'm so happy. For your assignment, I want you to watch news or uh, hear from radio, a specific news, and get the adverbs and adjective in it. You have to write the news as well. Okay? And for your another assignment, Please study about logical connectors and be able to give at least five examples of logical connectors. Are this clear to you, class? Yes, sir. Now copy your uh, assignment. Are you done copying your assignment? Yes, yes sir. sir. If that's so, that ends our day. Thank you very much for your uh, wonderful participation for today. Thank you so much. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, Goodbye sir. Thank God you. God bless you all. Okay, God bless you all.